How much do you trust those around you? Would you trust them with your life? I guess that depends on how much your life means to you. You see, questions like this are all subjective. Lucy? No, no, no. It's been all over Facebook. How can I see? Apparently she's been kidnapped. That's mental. So can you describe the missing person for me, please? Uh, yeah, she's uh, relatively short. Um, she's 12 years old. Blonde hair, blue eyes. Um, okay, and um, what was she called? Uh, Lucy. Thank you. For me, my friends meant everything, and I would trust them with my life. There are times when I think that maybe I'm a little too naive, and that I shouldn't. They haven't always been there for me. When I went missing, things did change. They blamed themselves, tried to help. They put signs up, even started a Facebook campaign. Did you ever sort that argument out with Lucy? No, why? That's probably awful she's gone then, isn't it? I mean, what was it you said to her? Nothing. No one would notice if you weren't around in here. We'll take a look around, honey. And if the police find out about your little dispute, you'll be in so much trouble. Sam, don't be ridiculous. We're not going to the police about anything. We can sort this out. It's not her fault. Well, how'd you work that one out? For all you know, Hazel could have made her feel so bad that she just took off. It could be anyone's fault. Maybe she just never actually told any of us. No one asked for your input, so it's not needed. Guys, it's, it's no one's fault. And blaming each other for it and arguing about it isn't going to bring her back. Stop. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just, I feel kind of guilty. I mean, she was our friend for a while and now she's just gone. You know that people are blaming us, saying that we did things to drive her away. And maybe it's true. Maybe she's killed herself and no one knows. Guys, how about we do camping this weekend? It'll take our mind off things for a while, especially with everything going on at school as well. Mm, I don't know. I feel kind of guilty going off and having fun when Lucy's missing. We should be out searching for her. Which is exactly why we should go. Take a break from it all for a while. Lucy would want us to have fun and be happy. Mm. Well, I'll go if you lot will. Yeah. yeah, okay, of course. I never thought something like this would happen to me. You would be the same. We always think these kind of things only happen to other people. We see the dramas unfold and create panic, treating it like a TV programme, not really thinking about what it must feel like. I'm gonna ask Jenny. Why me? Oh, go on then. You have a little girl. Truth. Fine. Okay. Right. Snog, marry, kill. James G. <laughs> Simon. God. Or Louis. <laughs> okay. Guys, stop playing for a minute. <laughs> oh, but we were getting to the best part. What's wrong, with Sammy? First of all, it's Sam. You know that I hate that name. Second of all, look at this. I wanted them to know what it's like to be invisible, to know how little others valued their life, to know that at the end of it all, they are alone. I wanted them to know that something like this could happen to them. 
No, you see me. No, you don't. Life is all subjective. To some, it means everything. To others, it means nothing. One thing that is consistent is the knowledge that, once the memories fade, we are simply not there. Lucy, can I see your own office, please? Yeah, sure.